Hello and welcome to the tutorial for the Alfriston dress. If you don't already have the pattern, the link is in the description. We're going to start by marking where the elastic needs to be sewn to. So fold your dress in half. You can see the elastic line there. I'm going to match that up with the pattern. Fold the pattern back along that elastic line and then I've got some chalk, you could use a pencil or whatever you choose or a tacking line just to mark that on there and then I'm going to turn it over and mark on the other side as well. Sit, lay it on, fold it over on that line and then just mark again with my chalk. Fabulous. So you can see I've got some dotted lines there. I'm going to press that into the fabric so that it goes right across. There we go. You can see there's a nice crisp line there. You just have to be a little bit careful when you're pressing the seams and things that you don't iron that out. Now we're going to hem the arm size. I'm going to fold and fold so I'm just doing five millimeters and then another five millimeters so it's quite a small little hem. I'm going to pin it, you could tack it or you could just overlock it or zigzag it and turn it over the one centimeter. If you do that I'd recommend you probably need to snip into them a little bit the curve so that it curves nicely. When it's a smaller hem it doesn't really need a clip. So we're going to do a little back tack to start. And I'm stitching right on the edge there. Off we go. Take the pins out so I don't stitch over those. Back tack to finish. There we go, just needs a press and then you repeat that for all the arm size. Now we're going to take our front and back, they're both the same on this dress, lay them right sides together and pin our side seams. So match those underarms, pop some pins in. Again, you can tack if it makes you feel more comfortable. I'm matching up those little press lines that I put in for the elastic. I'm going to stitch one centimetre from the raw edge. Back tack to start. And off we go. Match those raw edges. I've overlocked mine. You can zigzag it or overcast it if you haven't got an overlocker. I'm going to press that to one side. Again, being careful I don't press out that crease for the waist for the elastic. There we are, nice crisp seam. So now we're going to do the neckline. You can see I've overlocked it already. Again, you can zigzag it. I'm going to measure one and a half centimetres and I'll put some pins in before I stitch. There we go. This is going to form the casing for our tie for around the neck. So again a back, a back stitch here before I start and then I'm stitching right in the middle of the overlocking. So it's quite near the edge, just to give myself a reasonably a reasonable sized uh, casing there. There we are, all stitched, just needs a press and then you repeat for the other neckline. Nice and crisp. So now we're going to put the elastic around the waist. So hopefully you've still got your nicely pressed waistline. Got your piece of elastic, which should be 
your snug waist measurement plus two centimeters and I'm going to halve it and make a mark and then quarter it and make marks on it so that I know I've got a guide to match up to my waist on my dress. So I'm now going to quarter the fabric at the front of the dress by folding it and popping a pin in that fold so I know that that's my quarter mark on the dress where I need to pin the quarter mark of the elastic. I'm using 5mm elastic here. I'd recommend you use something a little bit wider than that if you're a newbie because it's a bit fiddly when it's exactly 5 mils, maybe 8 mils or a centimetre. Uh, there we go, I've pinned my quarter mark to that pin that I put in for the quarter mark on my dress and now I'm pinning my elastic to the side seam. Again you can always cut your elastic a little bit longer if you want a tail on it there if it's a bit too fiddly to do it exact as long as the measurement is your waist measurement that you're actually stitching to the dress. Now this is the clever bit where I take the pins and I pop the elastic over that folded line, that pressed in line and I use my pins like little belt loops. So just weave them in and out, look, so the elastic can move quite smoothly in there, but it stays on the pressed line that you've got. I'm going to do a three step zigzag to sew this on. My machine has that stitch. If yours only has um, a regular zigzag, then that is absolutely fine. It's worth doing a little test just to see how it goes for you before you do it on the actual garment. As you can see, my zigzag stitch works out to be exactly the width of the elastic, which is really neat. There we go, I've done it all the way across, taking my pins out. And that's how it looks on the right side, it's nice and neat. This fabric incidentally is a nice light viscose, so it drapes really nicely. So now we just have to do the other side seam. We're going to match under the armpits there, pop a pin in it, match the elastics, pop a pin there and just pin all the way down the side. Once again the seam allowance is a centimetre. So back tack to start and just stitch straight down from the underarm to the hem one centimetre away from the raw edge. You might want to back tack over your elastic, it's entirely up to you. There we are, I've overlocked it to finish, you could zigzag it if you want to. And I just need to give it a press. That's one seam pressed. Just the hem to do next. So here we go. I'm going to do a turn and turn for my hem again. You can overlock it or zigzag it and turn it up a centimetre. I'm just doing five millimetres turned and then another five millimetres. If you find it easier to press the hem before you stitch it, do that, or you could tack it again. Whatever gives you the nicest finish. I'm just going to pop a few pins in and then go for it. So here we go, under the machine. I'm stitching right on the edge of the fold there, all the way around the hem. Just needs a press now. There we go, all pressed. Such a simple make, this dress. So you can use a piece of ribbon through the top of this dress, to be honest, but because I had some extra fabric, I'm going to make a little tie. I've made it about two inches wide. That's about five centimetres. And I'm going to fold it in half and stitch along the edge there. It's just a, a width of the fabric here, so I guess one metre forty or something. I didn't know how long I'd want it 
until you put it on and uh, arrange your gathers it's hard to tell so I'm just going to stitch along the length there and I'm not going to bother trimming the edge because it's smaller than the casing is so I'm putting my rouleau loop turner all the way through and I'm going to find that hook, the bottom hook bit, pop it through the fabric. There we go. And meet it up with the top loop and then ease it through. Rolling the fabric over the top. It can get a bit stuck if you get a big wadge of gathers all in one go. There we go. Turning it through. Ta da unhook turn the rest through and then I'll basically just roll the seam to one side and give it a press if you have got enough of the same fabric it's quite nice or an alternative color even just to have a bit of a contrast there you go so I'm going to roll that seam to the edge like that and give it a press that's it, one tie. Super simple, super quick. Safety pin in the end. And I'm just going to thread it through that casing that we made on the neckline. There we are. I haven't finished the edges off yet because I don't know how long I'll need it. I'll need to arrange it on the stand or on me. Find out how long I want that tie. Be different for everybody. So pull it through, arrange those gathers a little bit. As I said before, such a simple make and so quick as well. And such an easy wear, especially if you're on holiday or on the beach or something in the back garden. Just pottering around. So easy to throw on. There we go, and just tie it on one side. That's your dress done. So once you've figured out how long you want your tie, I tend to just trim the ends off. And I'll show you how I just sort of poke the edges in like this look, with a pair of scissors. Just pop those raw edges inside. And then I just do a little stitch on on the edge there. Fabulous and what you should have should look like this. Enjoy!